Good morning, everyone. I have a special guest. My name is Kaho Shibuya. It's my first time at this gift tree. Yeah, I'm fine. We've known each other for like more than a year now. Mm -hmm. What, four collabs together? Whether it's like so. virtual yeah. or in person, we're always doing something mm -hmm. silly and it's really fun. But she has never been to my house. Never. So this is the very first time Kaho has finally come yeah. over. Kaho was asking what we were gonna yeah. do and I didn't want to tell her okay. specifically what it was um, because well, we're gonna put her to work today, okay? We're gonna... Yeah, uh, I'm ready to work. You've been working out, right? You've been lifting weights and I stuff. So you <laughs> should be so like strong, strong. But we're going to put her arms and um, physique to the test with a lot of uh, physical wow. labor today. Yeah. <laughs> In Japan, you guys also celebrate mid-autumn. Yes, that's Kind right. of. Do you want to tell chat how Japan celebrates it or yes. the meaning behind it? We eat dangos, like dumplings. Mm -hmm. And look at the moon, the full moon, usually, and enjoy and just imagine like there must be rabbits there mm -hmm. somehow. Pat was actually more knowledgeable. They were Ooh, saying, thank you. Because <laughs> I was talking about it yesterday. I'm like, oh yeah, in Chinese culture, we also believe in like the rabbit pounding yeah. the medicine. But they're saying that for Japan, they think rabbits are involved because if you look at the moon really closely, mm. they think they see a shape of a rabbit. Oh. So that's why they think that a rabbit lives on the moon. So this is what we're going to do. Because it's Tsukimi, which mm. is the official word mm. in Japanese for the moon viewing festival. Yes. I was looking up things that you would typically eat for the Tsukimi festival mm. just to be in the oh. festive spirit. Okay. So you also found some savory too? So I thought it would be fun if we made some Tsukimi me soba which oh, is basically soba. soba in like hot soup and they have the grated mountain yam with an egg on it oh, wow. through my research i realized that in japan they like to use egg a lot mm. in their tsukimi specials if yeah, you go to mcdonald's yeah. there's yes. like an egg in their burger tsukimi burger apparently they like to think that the yellow egg yolk mm. resembles the moon that's why they put the egg in there yes. so we're gonna make tsukimi soba however this is my kitchen this is onimart we never do things easy we always try to make our lives as <laughs> difficult as possible <laughs> Every time I think Bye. about what to cook and I'm just like, ah, that looks good. Now, how can I suffer <laughs> for three hours? Why? <laughs> so, we're gonna make our own soba today. Oh, wow! I got soba The I'm last so time I tried this, I didn't realize there was a difference between soba flour. I just went to oh. the grocery store mm -hmm. and looked into the flour yeah. section. It said soba mm -hmm. I'm not too sure if it actually was or not. Um, I made it and I may or may not have turned it to soba rice. I was looking up other things that mm -hmm. you would eat for tsukimi, which are usually a lot of fall seasonal items mm -hmm. like chestnut, yes. grapes, Apple and mushrooms, mushroom and uh, potatoes? sweet potatoes. Yeah, sweet potatoes. However, we're not going to actually eat the sweet potato as is. I saw this on YouTube a long time ago. It was trending all over Korea of uh, in their bakeries and stuff. They basically take the sweet potato and make it into a bread that looks like a sweet potato. Oh. So we're gonna be okay. eating a sweet potato with extra steps. Uh, you can just wash that for me, okay. and I'm going to roast them. We're cooking them to get the. Uh, the meat out basically in the meantime i think we'll try to get the soba flour together so we can have the soba dough rest while we do everything else that yeah, chat knows <laughs> look at this angle we're gonna do a little bit of the soba flour no idea how much we're gonna eyeball maybe two-thirds soba flour one-third regular flour again the regular flour is just gonna help me make the dough bind a little mm. bit because I'm a soba right. noob. In your life's experience, Kaho, how magnificent do you find this sweet potato compared to all the sweet potatoes <laughs> that you have eaten in your lifetime? They're definitely smaller and cuter sizes. There's, there's smaller sizes yeah, too? Yeah, they're, they're usually much bigger. So maybe they're like a different kind. Oh, oh, these ones. Yeah. I thought you were talking about you can actually find even smaller oh, oh, sweet right. potatoes. <laughs> and I was like, even smaller? <laughs> Cute. Hey, I don't eat a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that maybe Kaho has ate one or two, you know? So I'm just asking. I'm just asking. For the soba flour, do you wanna try doing yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Definitely. So when I was watching the video, mm. it looked like you add a little bit of water. Mm. There is an art to hydrating the dough. You have to go like in a knoll shape. So you wanna like swirl it basically a little bit to kind of incorporate the water into mm. the flour. And then there's an, a volcano no. eruption. Okay. Face. Eruption. That's phase two. I, I'm not making this. Up. That was actually what they were talking no, about. So we're gonna do a little bit. We're gonna eyeball this whole thing. Okay. And then you can do no, the no. No, no. And then no. just toss the, pa no, the powder right. around. While she's doing that, I'm gonna put my sweet potatoes in. Roasting these are really easy, especially when they're really small. Crank them as high as your oven can get it to. I'm doing like 230 degrees Celsius. 200 generally enough. I like it hotter. 
stop making her work. What do you think she's here for? She's here to just yeah. chat and stand there for three hours. I'm no, getting no, no. free food, chat. No, on. no, no. Like I said, we yeah, don't. I have, have to work for the food. We don't do anything yeah. easy here. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna let this rest for a little bit because normally, if it's just all soba flour, you don't really have to let it rest because a soba flour doesn't have gluten. But because we use some bread flour, it should rest a little bit or else we can't roll it out into a sheet. The soba dough is done for now. We're gonna let that sit for like an hour roughly. Okay. While the sweet potatoes are still baking off, mm -hmm. we can actually make the dough for the sweet potato right. bread. Okay. I'll read the instructions, uh, the, the measurements for you. So you Thank can just you. measure things out. It'll be a lot easier. Tapioca flour, I believe oh, was that, the first thing. Tapioca. Um, 140 grams of tapioca flour. 20 grams glutinous rice flour, okay. which is the dongo grams. flour. 20 grams sugar. So we're gonna do about 30 grams of egg, which is about half the egg. And one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I bought it. Yeah. One tablespoon. Uh, maybe a little bit more can than you a tablespoon. Yeah. You can squeeze in one tablespoon of okay. corn syrup. I'm gonna do 60 grams of warm milk. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, it'll get a little bit messy. You can also use a spoon first, okay. but stir it until it's like a really wet okay. paste of a dough. Is it turning into a liquid? See? See, it's like flat now. Okay, let me check on the butter. Okay, it's not as soft as I would like, but maybe with our yeah. hands, it'll be okay. Oh yeah, that's true. So it, it's gonna get really messy. Do you wanna try doing it first? I, I'm what? a mess anyway. Who Why isn't? Not? We're all a right. mess. So it, it's gonna be a little bit hard in the very beginning. You're gonna have to use a lot of finger strength, yeah. but we're gonna try to mix the butter okay. into the dough. So just squeeze it as best as you can. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, the next sweet potato. Oh, wait, she's not going. I have milk delivery. Milk delivery done. Okay, we're gonna peel the uh, cool. sweet potatoes. We're gonna try to mash the filling for okay. the sweet potato. So peel them first okay. to grab the skin off. Then we're oh, gonna- Oh, wow, you got a masher too. Ooh. I got a potato racer. Best thing I've ever bought. So when you're done, just mm. place a few in here and then I'll, I'll smash it. So we're gonna add in some butter and a little bit of milk as well to um, really make this decadent and enriching. So we're gonna do that and a little bit of milk. And you tell me how much more honey you want to add in okay. for sweetness. A little bit more sugar. So that looks really good. I'm gonna set this aside. We're going to take the dough out okay. and flatten it with our hands into like an oval. Oh, uh, a flat, a flat oval. We're just gonna use our hands and flatten it out until it's like a nice thin skin. So it looks like this. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I'm gonna ask you to take the stuffing okay. and just pour it or just kind of like fill it into the middle. Mm -hmm. Not too much because this is my first time making it. I don't know exactly how okay. much we should do and I don't want to be too ambitious okay. and ruin it. Maybe like one more dollop this okay. big and then we're gonna fold it oh. into a sweet potato. So, and then we're just gonna grab the skin mm. like this. Wait, that kind of looks like a really wacky sweet potato, doesn't it? Oh, it does, it does. But it is also peanut. That's very nice. It's so peanut. It is very peanut. Yeah, yes. very nice. This time I'll let you do it, okay? Oh, yeah. Poke it until it's a little bit thinner and it's like a round shape. And then just grab the skin and lift it onto right. the top, almost like you're making your bed. Perfect. And then just gently roll it where the seam is down and squish it into like a sweet potato shape. Yay, look at nice. that. Perfectly done. Oh. We're gonna keep this here. We have purple sweet potato powder. Nice. This is typically for like baking and stuff. Mm. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dump all of this. Oh! Oh, then you roll it. Yeah, I, I don't think I have enough. So I actually have this really expensive blueberry powder. <laughs> I think it'll end up making it tasting like a little yeah. bit tart, a little bit sweet. But I got this at like a fancy bake shop. I nice. saw it and I was, I think it was like nine bucks or something for something this small. But we're gonna maybe mix this with a little bit of, ooh, oh, wow, look at that color. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's too much. Oh my god, that was like six dollars. <laughs> no, that was like six dollars. No. Oh god. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. So it's, we're gonna lay it out so that it's like the, the mm. length of the sweet potato. And according to the video, they basically just roll it in the powder, grab the powder and like dust it on. We are recreating sweet potato. Does that not look like a sweet potato? <laughs> it's literally the same thing. So this is pretty much done. I'm just gonna like dust Ooh. off a little bit of the extra powder because the powder is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> look at our that? sweet potato. Yeah. Oh my god, these look exactly they look I, so good. Oh my gosh. Who said anything about poop? That's Java. super cute. I'm super impressed. You wow. did a great job. So this is the soba that we made earlier. If you're a professional soba maker, mm. there is a technique to rolling it out so it doesn't crack like mm. this. I'm obviously not a professional soba maker, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're just gonna roll it out like it's pasta and hope mm. for the best and hope I don't break anything. That yeah, actually is pretty good. No, that's really good. All right, oh. fold it on itself like this. Hopefully this will work. I don't know exactly, but hopefully it's going to work. So I'm just gonna trim this piece off. So it's like kind of ugly. We don't want that. I think that's pretty good. This is all just for like extra toppings on the side. This will be for the noodles. Okay. So I'm gonna actually cook the shimeji in the oh, dashi. dashi. I'm gonna ask that you take about maybe half the shimeji, okay. cut the root off, and we only need half. So this is mountain yam. Usually it's in the grocery stores, it's labeled under nagaimo, but mm. in English we usually call them mountain yam. So if you're looking for this ingredient for like okonomiyaki or making your own tororo, which is like tororo, how do you describe tororo in yeah. English? Yeah, perfect. You, so you grind sticky, it and then it's like, gooey. Yeah, that doesn't sound yummy, it's but yeah. It's sticky, creamy, goo. Stop! So as you're grating, maybe put the little bit into the bowl. Okay. So like grate, put in the bowl. And I'm gonna cook yeah. the um, soba now. Okay, soba going in. And I'm gonna just use my chopsticks mm -hmm. to stir it a little bit so it doesn't stick to each other. Wash your hands with soap after grating mountain, you know. English yeah. viewers, especially if you are not used to seeing this, and it's, I know, it's very fiery. Good grip. Circular motion, yeah, clockwise, oh counterclockwise. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh, oh, no. oh sweet lord. But there you have it, folks. Grating mountain yam mm. like a master. <laughs> this is our handmade soba that we did earlier. Kaho beautifully grated the mountain yam. So we're gonna do half, oh god, and then the other half. Just in the middle there, beautiful. And the tsukimi part is, uh, like I said, in Japan, they like to represent, they like to get round yellow things mm. to represent the moon. So we're gonna grab the egg yolk. We're gonna slowly, oh, no. that could have been done better. We're gonna see if we can get into the middle. Ah, oh, it's good, it's good. It's good. Be too polite to say it. Mm. How's the soba? Do I like the soba texture or don't, not? Don't, don't comment on the dashi because I could have done better. I, I forgot to season the dashi, so let's ignore the dashi. Mm. How do you think of mm. our first time making homemade soba? Is it I good? Think for first time, it's fantastic. Let's do a yolk pop let's together. Do. One, two, two three. three. Ooh. Oh, oh that is a that. Japanese egg for you. That's mm. so sexy. Mm. That's surprisingly kind of good. That, is it restaurant level? Fuck no. For homemade soba for the yeah. very first time, that's not bad. And let me try the sweet potato bread. They actually are like hard on the outside now. Oh yeah? So ideally they should be like semi crunchy, bready. It's not mm. traditional bread in that there's no yeast. There's right. glutinous rice flour, tapioca flour. I actually don't even know what it's supposed to taste like or what texture it's supposed to have because I've never had it before. This is my very first time trying it. Let's do the cracking. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what wow. it looks like on YouTube. I think we did good. Uh, here, you can have the half. Mm -hmm. she? Like the sweet potato part inside. It's, it's, it's so legit good. a deconstructed, mm. convoluted sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> It's as if you're literally eating a sweet potato, but we just made it like a hundred times more hard. But it's, it's oishi. Mm. Good job. Handshake. Yes. Thank Good you. job. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. This, 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 this deserves a gentleman's handshake. <laughs> yeah, we did good. <laughs> Oni bro, you've tried everything, mm. a, a little nibble of it. What would you give as a rating? And Kaha, what did you think? The soba is two out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we made that oh, for the no. first time. Maybe it's just like seasoning. At probably. least it's not rice. At least it didn't turn into soba rice. Whatever. Thank you, Kaho. Thank, Thank you for thank cooking you so with much. me. Thank oh, you. I stepped on your finger. Okay. <laughs> thank you for My your patience. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Okay,
Can you imagine if we thought the stream was done and then we're like, yo, yeah. bitch, get the f out of my house right now. I'm so done with you. And then we're just like, no, I'm for you. All, the, all our real feelings come out and then we're just like, get the fuck out, nerd. 